Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Lemonade session. Today we have a special edition Lemonade, a Groove Lemonade. We are going to be having a special guest today and her name is Hilary Moore. She is here in the back end. I can see her. I will bring her on in a moment. And what we will be doing today is we will build out her site. So uh, let me just bring on uh, Hilary. Um, so here she Jones comes. Live for special okay, edition. No. Hello, Hilary. Hi, we can see you. Hilary, can you see us? Copy link. Hmm? Um, Hilary, can Here's you see David. us? Yeah, I know, but I'm muted somehow. Um, I believe she can us. Where's your volume? Um, maybe here. Um, let's just remove you her for a second. Let's just remove her for a second. I believe they are having some technical difficulties there. But yes, today we will be having this um, lemonade session. Can you hear me now, Hillary? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to bring you back on live in three, two, one. That's we here have. we go. So, hi, Hillary. With mathematical precision, hi, David. Sorry, exactly something's running in the background here. Oh, my gosh. Of the population Let me just see what will be is. cheaters Who's and what support? proportion will be cooperators once you know Wait. certain things about strategies and, and their okay, payoffs. So let me just remove you, and then when you have this figured out, we oh, can we just bring you back on, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let me just do this normal intro. What... Um, I wanted to do guys for you is to bring somebody on that is familiar with with marketing familiar with um, the knowledge of selling and things like this but doesn't yet grasp grasp the, the the platform quite well so i wanted to bring somebody on there we can actually create a site together with somebody that is not me sometimes i just forget to speak about the the basic words the basic um language that new users speak um like they the new users use i go into integration and stripe and all kinds of css and html and this is a lingo that not a lot of people use if they are just joining in if they're they starting out building their sites so what i wanted to do is bring on somebody that is new with this platform as well so she can uh she can do it with you in case you are new you can follow her and and this way we can build out the site together. So I will try one more time. Hopefully there are no more uh, technical snafus over here. So I can see Hillary is ready. And three, two, one, there she comes. Hillary Moore, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, David. <laughs> Sorry about the technical issues. Always have, no there's problem. always a few of those. <laughs> no worries at all. Uh, so as you heard guys i wanted to bring on hillary so that she can uh have her own site built and you um you can actually follow step by step how we create the site with somebody that is not familiar not quite familiar with the software itself um there is also another person over here we can bring him on his name is paul hoffman he is a very good friend of mike phil same and they go they have a history uh going back a long time and he is also using Groove to build out his platform, build out his uh, his sites. So, Paul, you are on uh, on the call. If you want to just say hi. Hey, David, how you doing? Thank you very much. I'm I'm fine. Thanks, Paul. I I don't have my video on, uh, but don't worry about that. No worries at all. So. If we are ready, maybe we can just present what we'll be working uh, with today. Uh, Paul, if you want, you can stay on call, or if you want, you can. I can put you in the back so that you are participating and watching in the background. Would that be okay? That would be awesome, David. Thank you. Perfect. No problem. So, Hillary, if you want, would you like to maybe introduce yourself a bit more so that we have the users? Let me just remove the 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 screen maybe so that the users know a bit more about you who are you why are you here and what are you trying to do with groove um okay well hi everybody i have no idea who's out there if there's one or if there's ten or whatever but anyway <laughs> hi so i am originally from belfast in northern ireland um i um 
I used to be actually a sports teacher and a professional snowboarder. And then because I was living in the Alps, I really kind of missed the whole Anglo-Saxon thing. And then I... Um, then I kind of got into digital marketing and the whole kind of, I, I just really love the idea that that could kind of connect people globally. And um, so I went on the marketers cruise last year, which actually might feel same runs and it was the most incredible experience ever. And actually, actually I met Paul. I know this isn't a, a private thing, but I met Paul on the marketers cruise and Paul um, has been kind of in digital marketing for about the last 15 years. 20 years maybe and um so i yeah i've just kind of been i have i understand the whole digital marketing world really well but i and i've tried many times to put a site together but i'm just like there always seems to be a missing piece to the puzzle somewhere or other so um yeah so when david offered or when Mike offered to uh, help me build my site, I was like, yay, <laughs> like what a total um, godsend. So um, yeah, so basically the idea for the site, it's a wonderful world, but it's kind of a play in words. So it's spelled O-N-E, wonderful world. And the tagline is um, a new way of living and being. So um, yeah. That's kind awesome. of what I'm excited about today. So can you tell a bit more about what kind of products or what services are you offering for the people just to 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 get a grasp of what we will be creating? Okay, well, at this stage, we're not actually, it's more building the list and um, creating really good content for people to want to sign up and, and, and be a part of it. So it's more this building at this stage as opposed to selling products. I mean, I know I could in the newsletter, maybe sell some affiliate products and things like that to things that are related to what we're doing because I haven't cre uh, created a program for this particular thing yet. So um, yeah, so it's more list building at this stage and getting people to subscribe to the newsletter. I and, then, and I was going to ask you as well, David, is it possible on this call um, to show how to create membership sites later on? Yeah, we can go into that one. We have Groove Member, and it is basically the the platform to build out the membership sites. Um, so, what I just want to have uh, people that are watching understand: what is this wonderful world? What are you doing? Are you a consultant, or are you somebody that is providing some courses, or what exactly will be people doing on the website? What is this wonderful world? Okay, so basically it's um, it's going to have like resources so people can, you know, it's basically, okay, the, it's to bring people together. Um, it's all about inclusivity and kind of what's happening in the world right now. It's um, kind of moving, transitioning from all the old systems to a new way of being. And we don't exactly know how that's going to pan out, but um, it's a place that people can, can how could I say get excited about the future and not get stuck in kind of fear of oh my gosh you know it's like everything's crumbling and I'm, I'm 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 despairing but rather um kind of build a community of um like-minded people and also resources that people can actually see what or understand what's really going on and mm -hmm. um also we would like to create some programs at a later stage whereby people want you know if they're in a difficult place financially where they can make money online and things like that so um so basically you're creating a website for a community where people that would like to learn uh, how to how to make money how to um, like get a community of like-minded people this is what they would be doing on your site yeah right exactly yeah and, and so we basically you we don't have a product that yeah, Sorry. so you don't have a product that somebody can buy, but the community aspect and the uh, and the people that will be joining in the, and the others will be kind of the product that other people will be purchasing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then there'll be a lot of resources, a lot of links, a lot of um, yeah. It's it's kind of what I do on a daily basis anyway, but it's like it's a way for me to share it with other people. You know, because often this when I'm awesome. with the people, the people are like, "Wow, where did where did you find that? That's really cool. How can I find out more?" So it's kind of what I love to do. And it's like, how can I share it and um, create a community around it? This is awesome. So for everybody watching this one, as you can see, Hillary doesn't have a product of her own. Like she didn't develop a product, but she has, uh, sorry, she has a, 
uh, community-based, um, integrated, like people join and the, the other people in the community will be kind of the product. So people can learn from each other and and if you if you see this if you if you are thinking like oh my god i cannot create my website i don't have my product i don't have thing you have to start somewhere and where better to start than helping people when you help people this is this is how you become known this is how you become an expert in the field you can create a community where people come to your community to find answers and i believe hillary is doing an awesome job with this one um so what do you say, Hillary? If we head over to the platform, we log into to Groove and we have a look at what it has to offer. Great. Awesome. So mm -hmm. what what I would like to ask you is just to click on the share screen button uh, here in the in StreamYard. You have a share screen button. You can share your screen, and we will be basically I will be navigating you. I'll be your guide, and together we can build out something awesome. Hopefully. Okay. Did you find the, the button? Oh, I did actually mind. Oh, sorry. Hold on. It's, oh. <clears throat> so there is just a, a share screen button. You click on that one and then it will be popping out an option just to click on the, the desktop that you want to and then click share. Okay. I'm clicking on share, but it doesn't seem to allow me it's in gray okay um, so just click in the middle where you see your desktop vi visualized okay and then click on that one and then the share button should show up oh, yeah. okay Great. okay awesome mm -hmm. okay so it is still not loading in uh um What am I? What am I not doing? I'm not quite sure. Uh, from my side, I'm not able to see what you are doing, but um, mm -hmm. it should be as simple as just clicking share screen. You choose the screen, and then you click the the share button, and then it should be working. Oh. Okay, we'll try one more time. Share screen. Yes. Share Let's screen. give it a go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. No? Mm, no. Share screen? Let me read it. Let me read it. We can try one more time. If not, then I can share my side and then we can we can just do it together screen. like that. Just so one sec, David, because I have um three things here in the picture. I have there's three frames. The la the back frame is my screen, and then there's like two I can see what the, what I can yeah. see you. Wait, do I click on you or do I click on my yeah, okay. back screen? You should mm -hmm. click on the mute, stop camera, camera mic, and then there, share screen. So you click on there, and then you share the screen. Okay, sorry. My, my computer says share your screen, and I have your entire screen, application window, or Chrome tab. Your entire screen. That's what I... Okay, I that's, what it's, that's what it's on. I can't because it was on gray. So I go to and you click in the middle, and then you you will be able to okay, share. That's probably it. How's that? Um, now, Chrome has lost permission to capture your screen. Okay, doesn't matter. So let's just continue. I will share my side, and then we can work with that one. I okay. wanted to to have it created in your account, but we'll just we'll just transfer it over once we created it. So okay. what I will do is I will just share my screen quickly over here. And then we can log in together. So as you see, guys, um, problems sometimes happen whenever you're doing a live stream. Most of the times when you're doing a live stream, but uh, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Like it's very simple to just think of a solution. Sometimes it's not easy to think of a solution, but in our case, it is not a big snafu. We can just go around it by me loading in my screen. Um, so whenever you are logging in to Groove, um, Hillary, you can just come to app.groovefunnels.com or simply go to groovefunnels.com uh, and just click the login uh, over here in the in the navigation bar. So just click login and then it will open basically your platform in case you're logged in. In case you're not logged in yet, you'll have the option to register or to log in with your details that you have decided when you were signing up for the platform. So this is how you can get into the platform. It is pretty simple. And now 
what we are seeing here, this is the Groove Funnels dashboard. On the left hand side, we have, or on this side, we have the the apps lined up. Uh, basically, Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Affiliate. Let me zoom in a bit so that it is more visible on the screen. So these are the apps that we offer where you can go in and start building out your business. In case you are as like Hillary, Hillary is planning to build out her website at this moment. So the website and the web pages are going to be built in Groove Pages. So when you click on that one, the sites that you created load in so if you are a new user of groove pages and groove funnels most probably you will not be seeing anything over here but there will be a big button which says create a new site here inside the inside the builder on the right hand side so i will click inside here and then we can choose a template with hillary so let's just create a new site as you can see you can start from scratch in case you know your way around what you want to build. You can create yourself your own template. But with Hillary, I suggest we can... Ah, there we go. So I can see your screen now, Hillary. Very good. Um, so I will exit and we'll start on your side with the same thing. Here we go. So now we switched over to your computer. We can now see your desktop in case you want to just make make the browser be full screen so that we can see more of your of your page um so <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh my God. yeah that's fine uh you can just create a new tab click on a new tab and then we'll just open groove funnels together okay perfect so new tab you can just type in groovefunnels.com very good And now this loads in. This is the sales page, but it also helps us to log in. So when you click the login button, it will redirect us over to the dashboard. This is where we, in case you didn't log in, in case you didn't use this yet, you will see this uh, page. Just type in your details, like an email and a password that you chose. And this way you stepped into the Groove Funnels world. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's just try to click the login. Okay. Perfect. So here we are. This is the dashboard. This is the Groove Funnels dashboard that you're seeing. As you can see, Hillary is logging in um, from scratch. And what you're seeing now on the screen is uh, the Google Chrome is offering to save the password for the next time. So uh, this is something that you can or you don't have to do. Uh, so as I was explaining on the left hand side, it shows Groove Pages, Groove Cell. These are the different apps we can choose. If you head over to Groove Pages, Hillary, we can click on that one. Mm -hmm. And this is the app to create, to start creating the website. Sorry. Okay, so. Groove Pages, right? Yeah, the first one, correct. Okay. So in the right hand side, you can see the new site button. You can just click on that one. This will uh, open up a pop-up, which is showing to create a site from blank template. So basically from scratch, but we will head below that and we will click on the templates button just below that. There we go. And here is where we can see all the templates that we have to, to choose from. Yeah, so just click on once and then we can choose the templates that we have here awesome so if you are planning to create hillary uh, a website maybe you can scroll down and find find a template that has the the purple uh, purple template a bit lower There we go. So this one, correct, on the right-hand side. We can start with this one. I believe this would be something that represents your your website um, 
at the beginning. What do you think about this? Yep, that looks great. That work? Yep. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So you can close this tab. Uh, just click on the upper X. Uh, not this one, not this one, the right hand side, the, the, the one where it says uh, perfect, that one, you can close this. And then you just click on the select button on that template. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So what is happening now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is we chose a template and it is being loaded into our canvas. So the images are being added, the text is being added, which is the, the platform is recreating the same style that we just saw previously so that everything is clickable, everything can be changed and we can just simply uh, design our site. So if you, um, if you want, you can just um, have a scroll down just to see how the page looks like. Okay, you can see there is already images uh, and texts and paragraph text and, and logos and all kinds of different uh, details are added to the page so we can start clicking on each of them and, and changing them. So where would, you, uh, where would you like to start? In case you're building your website, what do you think, Hillary, is the best place to start with would you would you start doing your uh, your content first, or do you think that starting with a with a strong headline would be the first uh, thing that you would be able to change? Um, is this sorry? Is that first? Is that for a video or for just a picture? It's so over here, this uh, this is now empty. So if you want, we can put in a video over here. If you don't want that, we can uh, we can just use it as it as a as an image in the background. Would you like to put in a video on there? Okay, I'm just actually looking at the picture below, and this be this one below is that also a video option, or is we that can, we can replace it to be a video as well? That is not a problem. Okay. So maybe just like a written header with a tagline and then a video underneath that. So a video on the section below in the in the white background where the image is uh, there? Yeah. 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 Perfect. So let's just start with changing the heading. So when you click on this, I help people unlock their full potential. If you click on it mm -hmm. here and you click on it one more time, this will let you actually type inside. Like in Word, you can actually select the text and you can type in your headline. So what do you think a wonderful world headline could be? Well, if I put, for example, wonderful world... And then, can I write underneath just... Um, Absolutely. This is, this is a, uh, an editor exactly the same as Word. Okay. Perfect. Wonderful world. A world. Right, sorry, that... sorry. That's, I have a few taglines, but this particular one, I think I'll do... Uh, Awesome. Wonderful world. A new way of living and being. That is one that that is wonderful. <laughs> so would you like to keep maybe the 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 paragraph text below for maybe a sub sub headline just to explain a bit of your business? Uh sure. Mm -hmm. So this is just a, a filler text over here. We can just click in and change uh what we want to type in here. Okay. So what I usually suggest to people to create a nice uh, heading, this is the bolded part that we just did. And in the below that, in the, in the bit uh, thinner letters and the smaller letters, this, is, this could be like a small explanation of what our business is and how we can help the customers that visit the site. So would you like to, to type in just something in Wonderful World? We do um, this and we can help you that way. Sure. I was just going to say in terms of like... Make I guess I can do this after, but in, to make Wonderful World, for example, bigger or different font or things like that. Um, yeah, that we can do that one as well now. So uh, you can click on the Wonderful World on that one. Just click once. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And on the right-hand side, you can see there is a slider which says size. Okay. So just click on the slider and pull it towards the right-hand side. Very okay. good. So Wonderful okay. World. Is there any way that I can get it right the way across the page? You can have it right across the page, but then it um, try to.
try try to use the click on the wonderful world mm -hmm. and you will see a right uh, sorry a red um, drag handle perfect and try to pull it pull it a bit bigger okay so this is this is not doing that exactly thing what i wanted you can have the undo button on the top you can click the undo button so it, it puts it back as it was okay perfect um now you can click on the container uh which holds the whole thing perfect mm -hmm. and now if you see when you clicked on this container there is a bigger container which is selecting all uh so with the button with the paragraph text with the two parts that are written it, there is a bigger container that is showing on the screen can you see that one just next to the button you will see that there is a a, a container very bright pink uh, so just put your mouse a bit lower. Perfect. And now click in there. Okay. So bring your mouse a bit lower again. Uh -huh. And click in there. Uh, here or here? Uh, no, just outside. Yeah. Okay. Here. Yeah. Let me see. Perfect. So now the container has been chosen. As you can see now, the whole container, which keeps all the elements together. Now you can use the... On the in the middle right, the small white box. You can take that and and just resize it a bit. You just pull it towards the right hand side. Here. Uh, mm, so where the drag handle was in the middle, you see there in the middle, there is a white little box, white little square. Here. In the middle. Uh, on, uh, in the middle, next to the red drag handle that we used previously. Perfect, that one. And you click on it, and then you just pull it apart a bit towards the right. Okay. It's not moving. If I click on the red one, the whole thing moves over. And the white one doesn't change the, the sizing? No. OK, that, that is fine. Let's just keep this container as it is. We can come back to it later on. It just needs a bit of more editing, OK? So let's continue with the paragraph text. Mm -hmm. So when you click on that, is there some area of your life, be it personal? Uh, we can type in our heading over or the, the description over there. OK, so shall I put something in here? Yes, we can just type in something related to the wonderful world. So what I usually do suggest here is just to explain a bit more about the company, what it is doing and who is it helping. That is usually the, the part that goes on, on this paragraph text in the website. And then, let me see. Uh, here we go. Okay. I'm trying to delete the current text. Okay, so just double click. Jub okay. Double click inside the text. Okay. Oh, you have it. Yeah. Okay. So what happens when you double or triple click on the text itself, everything gets chosen inside this container. But you can do what Hillary is doing as well, just to click inside and delete everything using the backspace button. Okay. So, um... <clears throat> so you can just type in something wonderful what is wonderful world yeah space bar <laughs> my space bar is a little bit icky sorry <laughs> okay perfect so uh As you can see, guys, building a website is not something you do overnight. It involves a lot of thinking, like having your headings, having your paragraph texts, um, having you, knowing what your call to action is. And this is the next step, what we will be talking about now with Hillary, having a strong call to action. And the call to action usually goes on the buttons. Um, if, you, if you are, for example selling a product maybe buy now or get your hands on this offer now or you don't want to miss this click here or something like that is a call to action 
uh, in Hillary's case, she is not selling a product, but she's asking people to to join her community. So what do you think, Hillary, your call to action is? When somebody visits the page, what is something that you're asking people to do? Um, probably sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Awesome. So you can click on the button, which says at this moment, get your free coaching session. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then in the upper right-hand side, you can see the configure tab. Uh, so if you go up in the into that black sidebar that just showed up mm -hmm. in there you can see the configure and there in the text which says text at this moment it says button there instead of button you type in what the button should be saying so if you want sign oh. up for the newsletter you can type that inside there okay um uh yeah okay well i can always change this so <laughs> just for, for for now sign up for our... i can add to that later mm -hmm. yes yeah, so you can just uh click update mm -hmm. and now as you can see once it loads the text will be showing on the button so this is how easy it is to actually change the text on the button so now if you want you can click on the design tab now we are in configure next to it inside the sidebar in the right hand sidebar where you were typing in your the text you click on the design uh, so, oh yeah okay perfect and uh, you can scroll up a bit on the canvas so we can see the button uh, when we are changing it so on your canvas where we were where you can see now the the face of this man you can just scroll up a bit so we can see the actual button mm -hmm. um oh, the, sorry, the other way so perfect yeah perfect here um so now you can see in the design we have now transparency global styles text size colors and all kinds of different things so if you come to the sidebar and you scroll down inside the sidebar which is like, which is the black part perfect um so just on the right hand side and now you scroll down mm -hmm. oh uh, yeah. perfect mm -hmm. there you go so you can see many more options are showing up so on the first part there was the text and the size of the, the text we can use uh, this slider to make it bigger smaller this will increase the size of the text on the button itself uh, so this is the transparency, what you're changing now. If you put it back to, to zero, to not be transparent, and a bit lower on the page, you can see the size for the text. Now we are increasing the size of the text on, on the button itself. Okay, so if you want, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I suggest this is looking good. It is, when, we, uh, when we leave it like this, um, it looks quite nice. You can also change the color of it just below that there it says color and now it is white in case you do want to change it you can do that um, if you want to put the text left aligned right aligned that you can choose as well over here so what do you think your brand colors would be do you have your brand colors what what would you like to make the color of this button um can i just ask you a question david if i wanted to change the color of the background here sign up for our weekly newsletter how do i do that so yes so that is the next step if below the text part you can see it says background color so that is coming the next oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. so uh, i think i would like it to be kind of like blues um yeah just a different shades of blue and um some green as well so kind of blue, blue green white and brown basically blue green white and brown so yeah. in case these are your colors i believe white or black color for the text would work the best in case we put the background of the button to be some kind of blue i believe a white would be looking quite good on it so let's just leave the text color in white and if you scroll down where you where your mouse is at this moment if you scroll down a little just below move, move your mouse back to the sidebar Yep. And you scroll down on this part a little bit. Here you can see the background. So here we choose the background of the button itself. Um, so at this moment, we cannot see the, the button where we will be editing it. Um, so if you want on the canvas itself, where we can see now the picture, the image of the man, they are just eh, perfect. So now if you when you selected the blue color, we can now see that it changed on the on the button as well. 
So is this the, the shade of blue that you were thinking? It looks quite, quite good. It uh, looks very bright and people can see it very easily. For the lighter one, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so these are not all the colors that we have. If you click on the circle that is now being shown in blue, this will open a color picker, which which you can use any type of color that you want. So if you go back to just the color, just click on the blue blue icon there. And if you click on that circle itself, this is where the color picker shows up. So you can choose any color in the world you can wow. just decide it. Um, so you can really, really uh, customize it, modify it, how it looks like on the page. Great. Yeah. So if you if you decided, you can just click where it says uh, the, the hex code, which is the number 15B. There is next to it, there's a check mark um, just below in the in the white box. And Perfect. Then... Next to it, there's a check mark. As you can see on the right hand side, there's a check mark. Mm -hmm. If you click that check mark, this will decide and will make this color stick to the button. Perfect. Now you can exit out. You can just click the X button on the top, the big gray one, not the small one, just the big gray one. Perfect. And now this has made sure that our, our button stays the color that we set it up to. Very good. So now we have our headline, we have our paragraph text. With this drag handle, you are moving it on the left and the right uh, on the page. So, okay. So if we have the text aligned to one of the sides, um, I believe the button should be also as aligned to that, that side so that it looks better. So if you want, you can just click the drag handle, the red drag handle, and just move it back. Perfect. And there we go. So it looks a bit better when everything is aligned in the same uh, same vertical alignment. So let's just say that we are now almost finished with our first block. Let's just click on the purple part. Let's just click off uh, out uh, from everything. You can click below the button somewhere into that purple part where you can see the image, the purple image. You can okay. click in there. Over here? Yep. Okay, so now at the at this moment we have chosen the container in the in the lower part of the screen. Whenever you are in the builder, guys, you can you can see the the small menu. It says body. Then there is a a, a mark. There is a small arrow. It says block. Then there is a small arrow and then a container. Um, this is completely on the top on the bottom of of the of the of the canvas where we are seeing now the the person's uh, forehead below that it says container if you can see it uh, hillary inside the builder where the person's forehead is visible on the picture mm -hmm. and below that you can see container uh, sorry you mean here yeah so now there is a person's image which is which has an open mouth yeah can you see it on the below that it says container, which is highlighted in pink. It's a breadcrumb trail. It says body block container. It is static. It is not moving when you are scrolling up and down. Um, I, I would love if I, I could take control of your mouse now somehow <laughs> magically. Um, but doesn't matter. So let's just scroll back up to the purple part. I'm going to do the purple part and scroll up. Okay. Um, the other up. Oh, sorry. This way? Yep. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And you can click that up button. You can see in the left-hand side corner, there is three little boxes. Click on that up button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So now, uh, maybe Hillary cannot see it, uh, but everybody else in the lower part where it says body, now we are in the block section. The block section is the full width section where we have the image set up. So inside the black sidebar, inside the dark sidebar, uh, Hillary, you can scroll up a little bit, a little bit up. Perfect. Um, so just put your mouse, put your cursor a bit lower. And now you can scroll up. Um, then scroll down on your on your computer. Perfect. Um, now you can see there is a background. 
and it, there is a color with, where we don't have any color chosen but below that there is an image it says image and there is an image chosen there so mm -hmm. you can click on the button which says choose image mm -hmm. we will change the background image it will not be the purple but the purple image anymore but here we are now in the image library where we actually have the option to upload an image so if you can see this a very thin um, container which says upload image you can click on that one and now it it gives you the option to upload an image so you can select an image that you would like to use as your as your heading as the big part on the website do you have an image that you could use for that sure uh, mm -hmm. we could use this for example um maybe this one okay perfect very good so click now the up arrow which showed up on the image itself we have selected the image but with by clicking this button we are actually uploading it online so it shows up on the internet and now when we have done this you can select the you can click the select button in the upper right hand corner very good so now we have this image selected as the background of your of your website now I believe this um, image is very bright and very colorful. So what I I suggest to do is just to click on the color in the sidebar where it says background and below that it says color. You can select a color and let's just select some type of, let's just select black. Okay, or this dark red is also fine. And now if you go down to the slider and if you just pull the slider, so now you can see that the color is staying, but the image is getting revealed more and more. The less we are making the, the color transparent, so now it is 70%, 60%, we are making the color transparent, so it is letting us see the image behind it. So here you can choose actually the, the color, the, the brand colors that you want to be using um, on top of any any image any picture that you'd like so this way you can still have your site branded in with your own colors but um, the image is still visible so here now you chose blue you can make it a little bit bit less transparent to show more of the color or perfect uh, you can choose now you can select how you want it to look like that's cool it's cool like this awesome perfect so now we are actually set up with the heading section i believe we have our heading we have our description we have our button we have our background image sorted so let's just go on to the lower part where we want to put in the video um david can i just yes. ask you if i wanted to get more of the picture because there's only maybe a quarter of the image in that block <laughs> If I wanted to get the whole image in the block, so it? at this moment it is not showing up because your browser window is quite small. If you want, you can uh, click where it says on the on the sidebar, right on top of it. There is an X button. You can click on that X. So in the dark sidebar it says block, and there is an X. Perfect. Click on that X, mm -hmm. and this will show up the whole canvas. Okay. Okay. Cool. If you scroll to the left hand side. So with your with your mouse, uh, if you have a trackpad, you can scroll left or right. Uh, mm -hmm. No, 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 not that way. But um, hmm. you can do perfect. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. You scroll now, and on the right hand side, you can see. Perfect. On the top right, there is a, a like a, a minus and a plus icon with. Uh, with a magnifying glass so you can click the minus so that you are seeing more of the of the canvas you mm -hmm. see now you can see more of the of the actual page you are editing so it is looking it is looking good um we can maybe edit like this because your browser is um is kind of small um so we can continue editing like that it will be looking nice and big on a on a published website it is just showing you a smaller version of the of the website so that we can edit it this way can i ask you another question david Absolutely. i i remember um having heard that the sign up for our weekly newsletter when you're 
ask them to do something, it's, it's better to have it over in the right hand kind of this area. Um, one, what would you say about that? And two, if you agree, could we move it over? Yes. So as we selected a template and the template had the heading on the on the left hand side, the, the description and the button already set up on the left hand side. To change that, we would need to select a different template or uh, to, to be able to work with it. So in case we can do that now. Uh, not to worry. It was just if it was um, can yeah, be. Well, it is possible. It is possible to do. We would just need to uh, to bring in a different block. A block is now the section that we edited. A block is the background image with a heading, with a description, with a button. We can bring in a different styled block that has everything in the middle or everything aligned to the to the right hand side. This is possible to do. We would just need to uh, to select a different block. If you want, we can do that, or we can move on to the white part where we edit the, for example, we pull in your video. Uh, sure, let's move it. <laughs> okay. uh, let's move it with the first part, or let's move the video. Uh, no, I mean, let's move, as you said, uh, the block. Mm -hmm. The block, okay, perfect. So in the left-hand side, you can see uh, the G button on the top of the page. Below that, there is an icon which says blocks. So yeah. click on the blocks. There we go. And now you can select the covers. It says a one, two, three, four, fifth option. It says covers. And now here you can select one of the covers that you'd like. The first one has an image in the background, as you can see. And also in the middle, there is a heading. Below that, there is a description. Um, there is a lower one, which you are hovering your mouse over. Now it has a different way of showing up information, like subheading, a button, a paragraph text. If you want you, we can edit this one. Okay. Would sure. you like to have this one? Sure. Yeah. So then we can um, take the button. You click on the button. Uh, Perfect. Uh, yeah. And in the upper right hand side corner, when you are hovering on the button, mm -hmm. um, on your blue button, which says sign up for our weekly newsletter. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You can see that one. So click on it and drag it up to that new block. Perfect, just drag it up, more, more, more. Higher, higher. <coughs> to the upper block that we just pull, put in. So just drag it a bit more up on the page. Just go all the way up with your cursor. Perfect, a bit more, there we go. So now just release it, just yeah. release the button, perfect. So now we put, we already designed the button and we just took it and we brought it back, What brought it up. So this, we can now delete the darker button, which is rounded and it just says button. We can click on that one and we can delete it. Okay, you can click on it. Okay, just uh, click on it once. Mm -hmm. um, no, you actually need to click on, click on that. I am. <laughs> I clicked on it both once and twice. Um, can you go to the to the brighter blue button and, and try to click on that one? Uh, to the button that is perfect. Now click on this. This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, not sure why it is not actually selecting it. You. Um, can you, is, are you working on a laptop? Uh, yeah, I have a Mac, a uh, MacBook. Okay. Can you actually try to put your mouse and click, like physically click the... Um, I'm using my trackpad okay. and it doesn't... For some reason it is not selecting it. Mm -hmm. um, so never mind. let's just leave it out and let's just scroll down on the page where we actually set up our own previous block you can click on the paragraph which as which is saying we are online community of people and you can just do the same thing click on the on the on the plus icon in the upper right hand corner and just drag it up to the to the upper block that we did okay. perfect just up 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 a bit Keep more going. perfect and now position it where you want it to show you can just release the button now awesome perfect um there we go. And we can also bring in the lower headline that we already typed out, the wonderful world headline. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So you can scroll down on the page, you can click on the, the drag icon and we can, perfect, and you can just bring it all the way up. Very good. And you can just release it. So you can click on that part where it says headline right here to attract visitors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure why it is not selecting it. You can try to close the blocks sidebar, which is showing up uh, on the on the left hand side. You can click on that big X there, and let's just try to click on on something now. Uh, okay. okay. So um, if you go over there where it says one, the, the word one, wonderful world. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you hover a bit up. When you put your mouse all the way into the corner of the of that section, here. Um, let me just um, let me just take over the screen quickly, and I will show you what I mean by it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we created now is we have taken. We have taken the cover, which is this one over here. So when we click on this one, you can see I clicked on it. It is getting selected. So we would need to see these buttons over here. So this is what we try to achieve with the button as well. When we click on the button, it should show up these three boxes. So we can actually delete the button that we don't need. Um, can you try to replicate this? Basically hover over this one. When you see it highlighted red, you click. And then it should show up this these three buttons on the top. Can you can you try to to do this? Uh, the three buttons on the top. You mean I only have backward, forward, or there's like an I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you can you have can you select the the, the tab where you can see the streamyard? Um, I am actually sharing my screen right now, and I'm trying to do this. You want to hold this down, select, right? So these things screw up. Okay, that's that's selected. Is, he, is that what he's talking about? Is that what you mean, David? Um, well, not quite. Let me just have a look. Then, if you go, if you scroll to the right hand side where you where you minimize the screen, where you made it smaller. Right here. Oh. Right inside. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh... You remember the magnifying glass? It was on the mm -hmm. on the upper right hand corner. Um, it was here. Yeah. So you just scroll ah. on the on the side. Down, down, down. The other way, probably. The other way. Yeah, I'm already at. The okay. Top. So what's this up here? There we go. There we go. There, there, we, there we go. Perfect. Now click the the plus icon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So try to select something now on this on the on the canvas. Try to click on something. Ah, there we go. So now that these buttons are showing up, I believe this was because we minimized it. Um, so click on the on the sub headline right here. This one. Uh, oh, sub no, it, it, oh, yeah, yeah. sub headline right here. And in the upper left hand side, you can now see these three buttons: the trash can icon, the up arrow, and then the duplicate button. You can click on the trash can icon and just click confirm now we deleted that one you can do the same thing with the headline right here to attract visitors you can click on that um not that but the uh, bottom one uh, it says headline right here to attract visitors the big headline with okay. just below it got it okay yeah? mm -hmm. so click on that and you can also delete it you don't need it anymore okay <clears throat> awesome and then if you scroll down a little bit, you will see this lorem ipsum dollar sit amend ad. This one we can delete as well because we have our own paragraph. And the blue rounded button we don't need actually anymore. So we can use that one as well. Awesome. Very good. So now we have actually used a block that is styled different differently than our previous one. And 
we have now a wider headline we have a different uh, looking background image so do you remember how we actually changed our background image hillary when we clicked all the way up to the top where it said block um, um okay I no i don't <laughs> I got no you. problem so now what you have selected is a text click on the up arrow in the three buttons that you see on the left hand side uh, Perfect. Then next to it, just the up arrow. Perfect. Uh -huh. Now we will select the container. So now you, you go and click the up arrow one more time. Awesome. And now we are in the block section. Don't delete it. But on the sidebar on the right, you can see that there is an image chosen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we can go back to the, click the choose image. Awesome. And you can just select the image that you previously uploaded already. And just on the upper right hand side, you can click select. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. um, so you need to click on the image first, and then you can click the select button. So go back to choose image. There, click on it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now you can click the select button. Very good. And now, as you can see here in the color, it is showing up a white color. We can change it back. So um, now you went out from the block section itself. If you if you go back to Wonderful World, perfect. Click the up arrow. The arrow. On the left-hand side, we're next to the trash can. Perfect. Up arrow. One more time. Perfect. Now we are in the block section. We are editing the background of the of the website. Now in the sidebar, in the background, it says color white. Awesome. You can click now on the color and change the color to the one that you would like. Awesome. And now, as you remember, we were playing with a slider, which is shown in case you just scroll a bit lower on the page. Actually, um. I was trying to click on blue there to get the to get that in blue, and it's that's up. no problem. You can just scroll down a little bit using your trackpad. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now you can select. You can hover over the color and then select the color that you want. Okay. Very good. And now using the slider, you can make it a bit more transparent. Awesome. Uh, nice. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. So. You remember previously you asked me, can I actually make the wonderful world bigger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can click on the wonderful world and in the sidebar, it will show text and the size. So now you can actually pull in the slider to be a bigger text. And now it is showing up much bigger on the site itself because it is not limiting us. We had a, a container previously. This is for the people that understand like, Previously, we had elements in one container that was this size, and we it didn't let us uh, resize it. But now the container is much wider, and it is showing up the the page, the contents of the page, a bit like much bigger. So, um, so if I need to move that whole thing across um, to the right, because it seems to be that it's overlapping a little bit here on the left hand side. Um, um, this is because of the background image. The background image has this uh, has has these borders around it. Okay, and can I just pull the text uh, across a little bit? You can, yes. So if you click on the wonderful world, in case you mm -hmm. click on that text, mm -hmm. um, um, at this moment we cannot see the drag handle anymore. But that is not not a problem. You can come to the sidebar. Okay, sorry. No, so click on the text and in the black sidebar what you see on there you yeah. scroll down uh -huh. and here in the spacing you click on the left hand side margin it says margin perfect there we go just pull your mouse a bit lower mm -hmm. very good and then on the in the middle in the middle left uh, in the middle of the of the black sidebar yeah, so go to the left. Perfect. There, then that one. Click on it. And now you have a slider just below. Uh, if you scroll a bit lower on the on the sidebar, 
you can see a slider. Mm -hmm. This slider is to actually move things on the page. So you can move it a bit inside. You can see the wonderful world is moving a bit in. Perfect. Okay. So sorry, just so I remember how to do that. So that's spacing and then those and are then the outer, outer <gasps> margin. You can see that they, this is a square for the outside square and then inside square is for a padding so this is how we did it so you can now click on the new way of living you can click on that but uh, that piece of text and you can just do the same there we go so here where it says zero pixel you click on that and you just make it a bit you slide it sl you use the slider to to bring it towards the middle of the page perfect Awesome. And now you can do that for the for the button as well and for the paragraph text as well. Um, yeah, if you want, you can click on the We Are an Online Community of People Who Are Interested. You can click on that part of text and you can just use the spacing as well. Put it on four pixels. You can just use a slider to bring it to, to have four, I believe, REM. Yeah, four REM. Very good. So now all the three are in line, and also you can do the same with a button. So you click on the sign up or for, for uh, sign up for our weekly newsletter button, and then uh, you can do the same over there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now in the sidebar, you just need to scroll down on the page, and in this in the spacing on the uh, outer left box where it says zero point five rem, you can just click on it and then pull it to be for REM. Perfect. Very good. Could I put this way over on the right hand side if I want it? You could, but that wouldn't look good because okay. your text is is aligned to left to, to the left part of the page. And if your button is just on the middle, it doesn't look good. If you want, you can center everything on the page, all the, the text and the page, and then also the button, but then it would be looking better. Okay. Cool. That's yeah. fine for the time being. That's, that's yeah. good. Perfect. So now we actually edited a header block. We changed it completely. We re-edited it. We spaced it out. So we can we can scroll lower on the page where we actually have the uh, have the previous block that we edited. So just scroll down on the page. Actually, if I may just do one thing, David, I'm just wondering, can I move this up so that it kind of doesn't interfere with the image? Is it possible? Yes, so you can click on that red drag handle and you can just pull it up a bit. Um, okay, I would prefer to kind of like pull everything up just slightly, if I may. You can. Um, it will be just making the the, the image and the, the container a bit a bit smaller as well. Um, using these drag handles, it is not the best thing to position to pull everything up and down on the page because it can. Um, you can see that the at the part of the of the top of the the image doesn't go go more up because this is. This is the end of the image. In case you pull everything on the on the on the screen up, it would not look good. I know that the image is positioned this way, but in case you pull everything up on the on the website, it wouldn't look quite good. Okay. So now, as you did this, too tightly packed. How's that? Um, let's just see. So where you have the sidebar, that X button. Okay. So above that you have a save button and if you go to the left hand side you will see an eye icon yeah click on the eye icon okay mm -hmm. so this is how our page looks like at the moment as you can see the image is um is smaller and it has these borders so even though we moved it uh, you move the text a bit in, it still has the, these borders on the side. You can see it there. Um, this is because the image is not fitting the screen. The image is, is more of a square image and it is not fitting the wide screen. So it is because of that. But so in order to go 
around this, I believe we would need to find either a different image that is a widescreen image, um, but we can just leave it as it is and we can continue building out the white part of the page where you wanted to have the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, people are pointing out in the comments that be careful, PC battery is getting lower. Um, has she saved the work? So let's just either plug in the... Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. <clears throat> Perfect. So you can close this tab now. What we have, this is just a preview, just to see how the page looks like on a live. No, 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 not here. Sorry, sorry. I'll just, just get a tab. This one here we go. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Awesome. So if you go up a bit where it says home and there is an X. Mm -hmm. Very good, just this one. And this one as well, we can close. Perfect, so now you, you can click the save button uh, just to save the changes. Okay, great. So on the canvas where you have now a wonderful world, a new way of living, sign up for a, news, a weekly newsletter, you can uh, just come over there with your mouse and scroll down the page a bit. Okay, very good. So now, as you can see here, this is the image and this is the empty container that we were using previously for our content. If you remember, you were selecting and pulling up everything to the upper part. Um, so you can now click in the in the upper left hand side of this image where you see where you see this brown image that we selected. Perfect there. Just click there. Awesome. And now you can see the trash can icon. You can mm -hmm. click on the trash can icon just a little bit above your mouse. Perfect. You click there, which will be deleting the this block, this section of the page. You can confirm, you can delete, and now we actually deleted the whole section of the page. So the next section we have below is a white section where you probably want to have a video there. Mm -hmm. Can I just ask, if you put something in the bin and you think, oh my gosh, can you get it back again? You can get it back using the uh, the undo button where you are hovering right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, perfect. So here, instead of this image, I believe you wanted to have a video. Um. Yeah. Do you maybe have that video uploaded somewhere to YouTube or somewhere? Um. I'm just trying to think where it is. Hold on. It would probably be. Um. Ooh. Um, okay, I actually, yeah, what about? If you have it on, on your, on your computer, but not yet on YouTube, that is not a problem. We can just use the placeholder video from, yeah. from Groove, and then we can change that later on, or when you upload the, the, the video. So let's just get back to our builder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Okay. okay, and here where you see this image of the of the man, you can click on that. Mm -hmm. And now, if you scroll a little bit up on the page in the left hand side cor uh, corner, you will see these three icons for the trash can and for everything. So just scroll up a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. And perfect. There you can see now the trash can icon. Uh -huh. You can click the trash can icon to delete this image because you want to have, instead of the image, you want to have a video. Mm -hmm. So, now what we will do is Hillary? Yes. Yeah. So, now yeah. what we will do is actually click on the left hand side in elements. Uh, elements. And so <clears throat> the left, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> left hand sidebar. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Elements. Yeah. Perfect. So mm -hmm. click on that one. And let's just scroll down where you see layout. Let's just put your mouse over there and just scroll down lower on the page. Uh, just where you see container, one column, two column, three column, four column, five, just 
just put your mouse there and scroll down a little bit lower on the page perfect very good and scroll down until you see with white bolded uh it says media perfect there stop 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 and now you can see there is a round image image youtube video vimeo video so you just click on youtube video uh, okay perfect and just pull it out onto the canvas in where you see this uh, red uh, red outline perfect just there and release very good mm -hmm. okay now it's loading in the element okay perfect so now you can where you see uh, on the top in this uh, sidebar you can see elements you next to it there is an x icon you can just close that sidebar very good so now what we did is here where you can see groove digital groove pages placeholder this is now a video this is a youtube video and we will be able to change this to your video once you have it uploaded to youtube it is pretty simple what we did is deleted an image of the person that was there and instead we pulled in a, a video um player so is there something that you want to write next to the video where it says peter is such a personal coach well known is there something that you would like to add on here for your for your website what kind of content would you be able to talk maybe about the video um okay uh, okay so would i just replace this text with whatever text would accompany the video absolutely if you don't have the text you don't have to type it out now this is basically now you know you click on the text and you can just type it in uh right. for yourself if you want if you don't know the text uh welcome i'll just put uh, we, um okay i'll just write anything now okay <laughs> yeah yeah you can just leave it as it is awesome very good and in the paragraph you would do the same we can just leave it as it is just so that it is a filler text and now we actually have this section done in case you don't want that green um circle mm -hmm. this is the background image that was set up if you remember how we went to the back to change the background we used that up arrow which you can see in the left hand side corner where you where you use it you just click up again one more time up okay and then you scroll a bit to the left so that you see the video no no inside where it says welcome uh, we look forward you just use your trackpad and scroll to the left perfect now a bit scroll up so that you can see the left hand side of the then you scroll down just put oh where'd it go shoot where did that go uh oh shoot okay um can you click on there i believe it went out um so click on the groove funnels there and click the ref oh there uh where, where do we yeah. go no worries. So um, if you are doing something like this one, most of the times we suggest using mouses, but uh, that's fine. That's no problem. Just come over here and click on Groove Pages. Uh, down just below, click on Groove Pages. Perfect. And here, because we saved your site, you can click just to open the editor. Hopefully your site was saved properly. Um, we didn't save the site when we actually put in the the video, so I believe the the image will still be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, scroll mm -hmm. down a little bit on the page. Let's just see what we have to work with. Um, okay, perfect. So we have everything sorted. Um, 
so if you scroll a little bit up just a little bit so that we can see awesome perfect now as you are here just leave it click just above the video there is a white place between perfect there we go so now <clears throat> just click inside there very good and just use the up arrow to go one time up very good now in the in the sidebar in the right hand sidebar you can see it says block and there in the in the background background section of the block we have an image selected sorry we have a color selected would you like to change this color to a different color or would you like to leave it white this is the background here this is the background of the section where we will have the video uh, uh, let's put a really light blue light blue perfect so you can click on the color which is now white and just hover over the blue and select the color that you would like oh it's strong or if you would like you can just click on the circle and choose your own sure. shade of blue okay oh, actually it looks super light on the um, color spectrum but let me go for a lighter one i actually wanted a really light one. Oh, these seem quite dark um so why david if i'm clicking on like almost white does this kind of turquoise color come up here <clears throat> I'm, I'm not quite sure but what you can do is click inside and okay. drag it around so you can then see the differences right that's fine <clears throat> okay perfect mm -hmm. very good so if you remember you can just um, you can use the check mark or just exit it out when we are using this color picker so just you can click the X button. This one or this one? The color one. Yeah, you can click you can click any any X button just to leave uh get away from this from this block. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now we have that set up. Perfect. Let's just scroll down the page and let's see what the next section is. Okay, so next section are these three logos. Do you have any uh, any logos of companies which featured you, or if you were in some kind of publication or newspapers, will you need this section to show logos? Um. Uh, okay, for Wonderful World, no. No, perfect. So then you can click in the white part. So just hover, uh, just pull your mouse on the left hand side where where there is just a white space mm -hmm. very good just click in there and and you can go up one time with the with the up arrow mm -hmm. very good and then you can click the trash can icon this is now deleting the whole section so you don't need this one you can just simply delete it okay and if i wanted to put social media buttons on is that another place you can do that also here, but uh, I believe there is a place at the bottom of this website, at the bottom of this template, where okay. there is a place for um, for social media icons. So okay. here, what would you like to put here on this on this section? Do you have something to to talk about about your product, about yourself, something, or maybe just introduce the wonderful world concept? Uh... Actually, this would almost do if I could just put in join thousands of people on a mission to maximize uh, individual and collective potential. Yeah, perfect. Then just select it there and you can start typing inside immediately. Uh... Awesome. Do you need the lower paragraph, the smaller text? Uh, this one here? Yes. Do you need this? No. No? Perfect. So Jan, then uh, where you are, you can see on the left-hand side, there's a trash can icon. You can just simply delete it. Okay. Okay. Very good. So then below that one, um, there is a section for... for user reviews 
would you like to use this as a user review page or a view, user review uh, section? Um, sure. If you don't have reviews now, we can just leave it as it is. Then we can just uh, change the text later on and change the names by just simply select, uh, clicking on the text and selecting it and just typing in your, your site. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, does that have to be user reviews as such? Are there always the five stars or could we just have um, comments from people about how they feel about this or, or you can use it for whatever you want if you want we can delete these five stars so that it is uh, right. it is just a comment section okay, so I, I, very... have, I do have some really pertinent quotes that i would like to appear so maybe i could put them right here absolutely this would be a great section for that one um if you want you can just simply click on these uh on these star icons and then we can just click the delete button as well again just to delete it there we go. So you click it and then just click delete. And then it is very simply deleted from the page. So if you don't want the name as well, you can click on the David Rogers as a name. You can simply delete that one as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And other section. So here, this containers you can use for anything that you want. Okay. So just to remind me where to put it, I'll just put here <laughs> awesome. i just want to read a comment here mark is saying yes hillary don't be afraid to take the challenge great job awesome so oh, they're saying you, mark. Great job you. Thank you. <laughs> very well done um so we will leave this as a comment a uh, quote section whenever you find the quotes that you that you think would match here let's just go a little bit below on the on the page mm -hmm. And here, would you like to have uh, the same button that we created, the, the light blue button? Would you like to have it appear here or would you like to give them a different option to choose? Uh, do you mean to sign up for the newsletter? Yes, but you can, we can use the, the sign up for the newsletter button here or we can give them something else to, to go somewhere else. Um, sure, let's just do that for the time being. Which one? Uh, uh, Oh, I thought you just meant to move that button over and then whatever I chose to put on it, um, I could change. But just trying to think, hold on. Um, maybe check out our next event or something like that. Yeah, that would be great. So we check can click on the button. button. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you remember on the sidebar, you can click the configure button. Oh, sorry. Here. Perfect. Okay. In this, uh, configure very well, and then on the text instead of button, you just say check out check out our next events. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, you can just click update. And this will update the text on the button itself. Um, later on, we will use this configure. As you can see here, it says link to. This is where we will be able to set up where the button will lead. Um, but for the time being, let's just uh, go back to the design tab. So there is a configure. Next to it, there is a design. And then we can click on a different background color and text color and text size so we can edit those details here in this sidebar option so if you scroll a little bit lower inside the sidebar uh, sorry a little bit lower inside the sidebar this one um so where your mouse is just leave your mouse there and just scroll down a little bit perfect mm -hmm. there in the background you can see color you can mm -hmm. click on that part and we can choose a, a color that we want mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. So basically, our button is set up. In case you don't want to change the text size or the text uh, color, I believe we are ready to go on the next section. Um, one more thing. The background of this section is kind of a yellow. Would you like to maybe change this one? Uh, oh, yeah. This this bit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So 
if you go down below below the perfect where your mouse is just click over there mm -hmm. perfect and now in the sidebar you mm -hmm. can just scroll up a little bit very good there it says color that yellow so here you can choose whichever color you would like to use okay and if i click here yeah uh, uh okay i could just go for white oh this is really we're really in the yellows here right yeah uh, so, oh yeah okay so the first the first color is the white the second color is the black if you see them yeah. uh, just above yellow there is a white little box that there we okay mm -hmm. there we go it looks great now if we scroll down a little bit on the canvas um we can see this purple colored background mm -hmm. this is something that that is used to actually bring in more attention and and or or hype up the people that are visiting the 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 website mm -hmm. would you be able to use this for something for your own site or you think this should be deleted Excuse me. Um, that's excuse me. That sounds good. I'm As happy. it is, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we could do for this section is maybe select a different image because as we can see, I believe here is some concert or something like that as a background image. Would you have an image that you would be able to fit inside here? Does it have to be kind of like a rectangular size or can it be a square? It should be a rectangular size because it would be cut off, like it will be presented in this way. If it is a square image, it will be zoomed in and stretched <laughs> a lot out. So um, if you want, I can show you a different, uh, different thing, what we have built in. So in case you just, um, where your mouse is, just, just click it. We don't move your mouse away, just click it as it is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And here in the sidebar, you have the choose image button. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now instead of uploading the image be above, you can see free, free stock photos. So we can actually have other types of photos. So if you are talking about wonderful world or happy people, you can just type in people or, or happy or any type of keyword so that we find these types of images. So what do you think, what keyword would work well with, with what you want to portray? Um, <clears throat> maybe together. Uh, together. Perfect. No, no, just, just leave together, just leave together. Very good. There we go. So we can now choose any of these images. You can click on the one that you like. It will be uploaded to your library so we can uh, we can use it as our background. Okay. Uh, let's just do, let me see, sorry. Uh, okay, and these are square, huh? It doesn't matter that they're not rectangular. These, these are horizontal images. At this moment, it is showing up a preview of the image, but the images are, are, um, um, are, of, are normal photo size, so which are usually uh, more horizontal. Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter at this stage. Uh, yeah. You can choose choose any image now, yeah. So okay. as you can see now, it is uploading, mm -hmm. and when it does, it will come back to our library, and now you can just click the select button so that it gets loaded into to our design. Very good. So now it's just loading in. Perfect. Now it has been it has been loaded in. So if you want, we can now select a color and put an overlay color onto this one. Oh wait, I believe we are on the container level. Um, mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so the the we just did one mistake. We didn't set up the the image on the block, but on the container itself. So just exit out from these colors where it shows you the colors. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And just click the trash can icon next to the image itself. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now um, you 
in the left hand side left upper right uh, upper left hand side corner you just click the up arrow next to the trash can icon very good and here now as you can see the image is loaded in in the sidebar so let's just go and choose an image instead of this purple one okay very good so let's just click on these hands mm -hmm. of people. Um, actually, let, let me just upload one that I have here, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. You can click on the upload image. Uh, okay, I'll just put this one on, for example. Um, okay. Very good. So now you will just need to click the up arrow to upload it in the library. Okay. And as you can see, this is a vertical image. So the image will be stretched out a lot. Um, so, and, and the image is quite small. It's 540 pixels uh, in width, which would be looking very pixelated if we load it in on a, on a big screen. So okay. I Should would not, I would suggest <laughs> against using this one because it would look very blurry for the end user. So maybe for the time being, let's just select the, the photo of these hands. So, uh, so if you go to my files, as if, if you just click next to the free stock photos, it is the my files, and we okay. already loaded in those. Mm -hmm. images. Perfect. So you click on that one, and you can just choose the select button in the upper right hand corner. Okay. Uh, you just click on the image first. Ah. Perfect. Okay. So now it is loading in and there we go. So there is a color, as you can see over there, you can choose a, a color overlay in case you want to put a color overlay just so that it is a bit darker so that the white text stands out. There you can select, you can click on the white color actually there and then you can now select a different color that you want. There we go. Okay. So this is now light blue. Is this the color you would like to use? Hillary? Um, I believe the connection is... Hillary is not moving for some reason. Let me just refresh her. Hillary, can you hear me? Ah, perfect. Now we can see your Which screen you moving. Back. Oh, you're you're back again, David. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Great. What awesome. There? So um, what we can do now is where you are, you can just exit out from the sidebar from the uh, from the colors, and we can use the slider to make it more transparent. Yeah, so you can click on, on the on the color again. Okay. Um, yeah, you just click on that light blue. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so now we went to the container. Um, in the left-hand side, up arrow, you can click the up arrow next to the trash can. Perfect. And now you can see in the sidebar the blue, blue color. You can click on that blue color. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there, the slider, you can make the color a little bit more transparent so that the image is visible. Awesome. Perfect. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. So this is now set up. Let's just scroll down on the canvas a little bit more. Let's just see what the next section is. Here you are actually talking about your product. Would you would you like to use this section or not? Would you like to to maybe? Um, I believe it would be great in case uh, you let your, uh, your visitors of this page know what you are actually uh, doing with this wonderful world. So uh, events and things like this. So have a look if if you will need this content that is already on the on the page. Because I'm just thinking, I probably will have already said this in the video at the top. 
Okay, Although so you I, don't need this section. That is completely fine. Because I was going to say, say, maybe some people wouldn't have the time to watch the video and they just want to scroll down and get a really absolutely. quick Always. So could repeat it. Uh -huh. It's absolutely, um, absolutely necessary, I believe, sometimes to have a textual-based uh, content as well for the people that, for example, that are deaf, that cannot hear the video content. So okay. if they want to read into it, maybe that would be good to have it for them as well. Mm -hmm. But... I just want to read a comment for you here. Uh, how how do she how, how does she get lucky enough to do this? What a valuable session! Wow, amazing! That's a comment from a Facebook user we have here. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, maybe you should go on the marketing cruise next year and have a relationship with Mike. <laughs> yeah, so I believe these sessions are very valuable. So if if not, I believe we can keep these up in the future. I really want to help others that are struggling with building out their sites, and I believe this is some valuable information. So I'm not I'm not sure what their, what your name is, dear Facebook user, but if you are interested, we can do a session with you as well, maybe in the future. Hmm. So, um, Hillary, what do you think about this section? Here is what you will get. Would you be able to use this for some of your own content? Uh, sure. Yeah. Would you like to leave it in or would you like to delete it uh, well, for now for this session? Let me just ask you because I was wondering if there was going to be like different buttons on the site for different things, like for example, healing and plant medicine and like health and well being. Um, are there going to be that or should I put that at this stage? We can we can use that one now, but we will need to pull this in from the blocks. So if you go if you click on the um perfect is this the place where you would like to bring it in bring that uh, section in where you are um where you're explaining these these different buttons and what they do is this the 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 place on the website where you would like to bring that section in um yeah as long as it's clear for people that if they click on that then they can get more information on that particular topic absolutely so if you want you can use these exactly the same so proven step-by-step -step process you can change this one to live events and i don't know mm -hmm. something and then the members only live events or experience mentors so you can put in on there's a title paragraph and we can just pull in a button mm -hmm. below that so you can use this exact section mm -hmm. uh, for explaining uh, other parts of your um, of your business or whatever you are uh doing with your business so would you think that just a simple button below this paragraph text would work um as long as they understand that if they click there then that will take them to deeper information on that particular topic absolutely we can just put a button in there which says read more yeah. or learn more yeah yes so then we can we can just click in the left hand sidebar elements mm-hmm mm -hmm. And then if you scroll down inside this sidebar, um, so where it says layout, one column, three columns, four columns, you can just scro scroll down a little bit lower here. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. A bit lower where it, it, it needs to say buttons. Perfect. Below the list, you can see there it says buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so mm -hmm. you take the first button and you just pull it in on the place where you want it to be. So below the paragraph, you can just click on the button, drag it out on the canvas. Uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And a bit lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. Perfect. Very good. Just leave it. Leave it as it is. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> Very good. So now we brought in a button. We can click on the button and actually bring it a bit up so that it is it is more connected to the to the paragraph. Um, so not this way. You just um, just release it, release the mouse, mm -hmm. and just once click on the button. Um, very good. So now using the red drag handle on the top, you click that and just pull it up a little bit. Very good. Awesome. 
perfect. That is it. The lower section we will we will push down a little bit later. Let's just uh, head over to the right hand side bar where it says configure. And let's just give this button a name. Instead of button, let's just say learn more. Mm -hmm. um, so you click where it says button. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> you type in learn more. Very good. Beautiful. So now we have a button that says learn more. So if somebody wants to learn more about the proven step-by-step -step process or something that you will put on, on the page here, they can just click the button and then learn more about what you have to offer. So would you like to put a, a different color of the button? Uh, sure. Do you remember yourself how to do it? Uh, design. Very good. And then uh, color, background. Beautiful, very good. And if you just scroll down a bit, you will see more. Perfect. Awesome. So now we have one of the buttons. Um, let me just show you a trick. So now when you have a button selected, you, you know where those three icons are for the trash can, for the up arrow. But the first button next to the trash can icon it is the actual duplicate button. So if you click that first button there, perfect, it will create a clone of the button, which you can just take the clone and move it on the left-hand side of the page so that so that the, um, where it says learn more, the RE letters are covered by uh, a drag okay. handle. Perfect, that drag icon. So you click it and then you move it on the, perfect, there. Good, just a little bit lower so that it, it comes below the paragraph. Okay, so ho click the button. Very good. And now click that plus. Very good. And you can just pull it down a bit oh, dear. below the, the paragraph text. It keeps jumping. <laughs> so. uh, yeah. just, just release it like that. Just release it here, perfect. So now, as you remember using the drag handle, you click on the button and using the upper drag handle, you can just pull it closer towards the text. Very nice, lovely. So if you click now on this purple triangle that is that is touching the button on the uh, lower one, perfect. Mm -hmm. You click on this one. Using the red drag handle, you can move it a bit lower on the page. A bit lower. Very good. Very nice. There we go. So <coughs> do the same with uh, with the left uh, purple triangle where it says powerful community. You can just click on there and you can pull it a bit lower. Nice. Very good. And then basically, if you want, we can duplicate over the buttons. Mm -hmm. So if you click on the button, <clears throat> you can duplicate it. Um, so okay, the, sorry, the bright blue button, when you click, click it once, uh -huh. perfect, very good. And now you can take one of these buttons and just pull it down where it says powerful community. Then this is a paragraph below that one. Oh, they both went. I just want one of them to go. <laughs> okay. How do I separate them? Yeah, so just release the, the mouse. Uh -huh. Perfect. And now just click that plus icon, which is, which is hovering over the RE buttons. Perfect. Just click this. Uh -huh. And then you, you drag it down. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Nice. Just a little bit more up. Okay. Oh. So. Nice, you almost got it. So just um, not to drag, not to drag handles, but you need to just click on the R where it says R E more the R E. Perfect. Click on there, and you drag it down. Perfect. Release, release the mouse. 
very good and now you can click on the button itself and using the upper drag handle you can pull it a bit more up okay and then we do one more awesome so now you can transfer it over to the right hand side where it says experience mentors very good just release it here nice so now basically we have created a section where you can talk more about different aspects of your business and if people are interested in learning more they can just click the learn more button and they can explore your different pages where you will be talking about those services or offers that you are basically offering um so let's just see what we have lower on the page i believe we should be wrapping up very soon because it is almost two hours session i believe for you as well it is a uh, uh, overwhelm of information and for the for the new users watching this it is also quite a lot for them um i believe we just left out so just go to the wonderful world site that we were editing click open the editor Hopefully it was saved. Holding my breath here. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sometimes happens when when on the on the laptop, a left or right or or, or sc scrolled using the the hands because then it acts like a, a back undo button. Um, so you can just scroll down a little bit more. Do I need to you save it? The last... Automatically. Saving Sorry? Automatically. It, it's saving automatically? It's saving uh, automatically every five minutes, yes. Okay. Um, so here we we could put in our resources in case you're giving away some resources. If you don't need this one, we can delete it because I believe you are giving the resources away for the people that sign up to your newsletter. Is it correct? Um, yes. Okay, so then we can delete this section. So you can click in the upper left-hand side, just in the corner somewhere. Perfect, there. Where exactly, and just scroll up a little bit so you can see the trash can icon. Uh -huh. Very good, you can just delete this whole section. Uh -huh. Lovely. So now over here, this is already the footer. So this is something that you can edit and Call and put the get started today as your own call to action button where you are asking people to sign up for your newsletter. So if you want, you can click on that uh, bright orange button. Okay, so you can just click on the text itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's fine. And in the in the upper right hand side corner, if you go to configure mm -hmm. the sidebar, perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, you can just type in the sign up for our newsletter or the, the call to action that we were using previously. Okay. Very good. Instead of the button text, we will type in get our new weekly newsletter. I'm not quite sure what was. Beautiful. I believe you are just missing the S uh, letter at the beginning. Nice, great. Um, okay, so it is just loading in. Let's just have a look. There's an I. It's not, there's an I. Sorry, it's a typo. Sorry. There we go. Beautiful. And now on the lower section, there is also a header and a, and a paragraph that will be uh, able to change. Do you have some text that you could uh, that you could put in there? Maybe a, a strong a strong headline for a call to action. Uh, sorry, I'm just waiting for it to. Absolutely, yeah. Um, where would that be? Over here. So where it says request a free coaching session. Do uh -huh. you have a headline maybe that could go into that place? Some uh, strong call to action where you... Um, yep, I'm just going to have to take the whole kind of layout into consideration. and um, But I will definitely find something for that. 
yeah no problem so if you want you can use that uh, david rogers testimonial on the right hand side or if you don't have to if you have something else to put in there you can just use that for something else mm -hmm. so would yeah. you like to to use this place for something else or would you like to actually have a, a review or a quote uh put in here um yeah, I'll, I'll, sorry, but it's just, I need to kind of go over the whole site and see what to put in where, but I would like to keep this section. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you could just head over to the sidebar on the right hand side mm -hmm. and just scroll up uh, all the way up where you can go. Perfect. Now, please just click the save button on the top of the page. So if you scroll up mm -hmm. here, perfect, save. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So that is saving our changes. I will show you how to publish the site. I've published the site so that you can actually go to, to, to preview how a site would look like when it's live. Mm -hmm. So if you head over to the publish button that is just next to, to where your mouse is, perfect. Um, you can click on say set groove pages subdomain. Okay. So here you can put in a subdomain. For example, if your company or your project is called Wonderful Life, maybe that's, that could be a great subdomain. So it would be when you're visiting this page, it would be wonderfullife.groovepages.com, something. Or if you want, you can also use uh, Hillary Moore or just uh, Moore dot groovepages.com. This is just for yourself so that you can actually see how the page would look like when it's live. Okay. Awesome. Very good. You can set this up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I believe you could. Very good. So now, as you can see here, um, it says host your site with us, which is going to be publishing the page on, on Groove Pages subdomain, which you just set up. So you can just click on that uh, white box just inside. Perfect. Click inside there. Mm -hmm. This will mark it so that you are actually choosing to, to host the site with, with our servers. And then in the choose the name, choose an, choose name, here you can type in anything. Like it will be wonderfulworld.groovepages.com, either test or homepage or something like that. Mm -hmm. Here, um, I would suggest you not to use uppercase letters because that would that would not load in. Uh, so the the big H, just use small letters. Perfect. Now, when it, this is done, you can click the pink publish button at the bottom of this sidebar. Very good. So now it is ac actually put pulling in the content, pulling in the images and the colors, and it is putting it live for people to see. So now you can see where it says wonderfulworld.groovepages.com uh, uh, here below the host your site with us where we clicked on that white box. It says it is marked with a bright blue. So it is a link now. You can click on that wonderfulworld.groovepages.com for such homepage. And now this is your site. It is live and you can share this uh, link with somebody to, to so that they're able to see it. Um, what I'm seeing over here that we have our header section, then we have um, we have the actual navigation bar below that because when we added this first section, um, it came on top. So we can just correct this one. Um, if you go to that other tab which is opened, uh, which says Groove Funnels, perfect, and you can scroll inside the canvas. You can scroll all the way up. Perfect. Just below this this bright blue section, which says "Wonderful World," just below this one, it there is a small navigation bar, which is um, if you scroll a little bit down, just a little bit, you will see it is it is slightly gray. It says "Home About Solution Contact." You can see it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so now come. Perfect. Just scroll all the way to the side so that you can see the right hand. Uh, the, the end of that one and you can close the template settings you can you can close the you can close the sidebar we don't need the sidebar anymore you see where it says uh, template settings you can close this one perfect mm -hmm. and now where it says uh, home about solution contact and there is a big contact button you can 
click on that whole white section and you can see that that drag handle which says a plus in the upper right hand side corner there is a small plus icon i did see it yes yeah, sorry hold on yeah. okay. so you can close this uh sidebar perfect and mm -hmm. if you hover over there perfect you just bring this all the way up above the, the upper section so you can close the sidebar let's try again mm -hmm. Very good. And then where it says contact, very good. So just click on that pl uh, plus button and then drag it all the way up to the top of the page. Uh, that shouldn't have happened, right? Um, so you just need to click and hold your mouse on it and then just drag it up. Oh, um, okay. So not this, this is just a button. Ah, uh, not that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So just, you can release it. Perfect. Um, so now when you are in the gray part here, then you can see above the button is that plus plus mm -hmm. icon. Just click once on the plus icon and hold your mouse and then drag it up. Oh, the whole Very good. Good. the whole section. Now you're bringing up the whole section. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So just bring it, bring your mouse a little bit lower, a little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect. And you can just release it there. Oh. Okay. That didn't come to the place where we actually wanted it to be. Um, you can click the undo button to, to just put back all the changes. Okay. One more time. Okay. So I'm not quite sure why this happened. It, it should have brought up the whole section. So... Let's try one more. Yeah, it doesn't go for some reason up all the way. Um, I believe this is because we are not selecting the correct uh, the correct block. Uh, but that that's okay. Let's just click on it in the in the and then let's just delete this navigation. We will do a different navigation for ourselves at the at the later point. Um, no, not like this, no. Yeah, I believe it is. It is not going up because not the, the block is not selected. But let's just re leave it as it is, and then let's just delete this section. We don't need it anymore. Because okay. I was going to ask you how to put a contact button on. Uh, okay. Yeah. So just scroll down a little bit lower where you see that navigation menu below this blue part. And in the left hand side, where it says Peter G. Sanders, um, in the left hand side, in the in the gray part, so not on this one, in, but a little bit up with your mouse, we need to select the whole section. So we need to select the gray part. Uh, the whole section. Okay. Maybe out here. Um, so what you can do now is just click, um, click the up arrow button. Okay. Uh, that is here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why it is so zoomed in now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so now, as you are, just click the trash can icon. Perfect. Confirm. So we're deleting the navigation menu because we will be putting uh, our own at the later point. So just click the save button. Mm -hmm. Save button. There we go, and it is now being saved. And let's just preview it. You can click the eye icon. Let's just have a look how it looks like. Okay, so let's just have a look. So if you scroll down, let's just see what we created today. Okay, beautiful, nice. So here we will be putting in our quote. Here, this uh, purple section, what we, I believe we forgot to put put uh, if you scroll a little bit up we forgot to put in the transparency of that purple section oh no it, it just took some time to show up that's fine okay um yeah let's just see the lower we put in these buttons these bright blue buttons and we have changed the lower button there to be sign up for our newsletter and we 
uh, we lost the save when we when we selected the different color for the sign up for our new weekly newsletter it didn't change because it it exited out but we changed a lot of news a lot of things and we probably learned a lot of new things so hillary uh, i believe we are we should finish uh, slowly for today's it has been two hours already but i just want to know how do you feel how do you are you overwhelmed with all these uh buttons and options and colors and what to click um well it's been super helpful just for you to kind of show me how to navigate my way around the site sometimes i get a little bit confused if i should click once or, or twice because it seems to be that different things come up each time. Yeah. Um, but I think it's really just a question of kind of playing with it and and kind of trial and error, quite honestly. So I, I feel so much like you give me a huge jump start to do that. Awesome. So would you be able to to like change the text, change the buttons without uh, Paul or me being there? Like, would you feel confident after this session? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. So this was the goal of this video, actually, to, to take somebody that was not yet been uh, active with the, with the builder, with the software, and to just guide you through uh, selecting a template, like clicking a text, changing the text, changing the buttons, changing the colors. And this is something that I wanted to achieve for today. And I believe we managed to do that. So with that said, thank I would you. like to thank you, Hilary, for being here. Um, Paul, thank as well, he is still with us here in the background. Thank you. Paul, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much for being here. Um, hopefully, we can continue on an another day. We will agree maybe if uh, this is something you are willing to do. Maybe we can continue building out your page because I would really like to help you with. But I believe two hours in a one day is, is more than enough for you and for our viewers. So. Absolutely. And I was just thinking that, David, I didn't dare ask. But <laughs> now that you did very kindly propose it, it would be super nice and also maybe um, be a bit a bit more interesting for other people to see kind of the content on it and then the next step just how absolutely. yeah where we can go from here but absolutely um, yeah super I, that's been amazing really perfect thank you. And thank so you. <laughs> um people are saying i learned a lot today thank you very much thank you so much david and hillary um hey you guys did a great wo wonderful job with the o oh, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> job um <laughs> Thank you very helpful so people enjoyed this session and i again thank you very much paul and hillary it was great for me as well um i just forget sometimes i just do things so quickly that some people are not able to follow it and that's just because i i played with it so much uh but having somebody like you somebody like that is not yet all the way into the software i can slow down myself and then and i see what people can be struggling with. So this is also a learning curve for me. So thank you very much for that. Thank you so much for your patience, David. I really appreciate no it. At all. Um, so guys, if you were been following this live, thank you very much for being here. I want to invite you tonight for a next session of GrooveCard. Today we are continuing our GrooveCard challenge. So at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, come over to here to the Facebook group or to our YouTube channel, and then you can follow our GrooveCard build as well over there. So one more time, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and then hopefully see you in the new session of of lemonade special thank you very much guys bye bye